one of the things that really helped me lately um, with dating and dating apps was completely changing my mindset to the point where now, I mean, I've talked smack about dating apps in these videos previously where to now I'm actually kind of having fun. I'm kind of having fun. I'm enjoying it. And um, the thing I wanted to share with you is the Grant Cardone 10X rule. So basically I applied the Grant Cardone 10X rule to dating apps in the sense that in that book, he states that any goal that you set for yourself is going to take way more, 10 times more effort, energy, uh, patience, time, resources, people, sales, anything that you think you want to do is going to take just way longer. It's going to be way harder than you anticipate initially. So in order to keep yourself motivated, what he says is to 10x your goal. So if you have a goal to make a million dollars, make it 10 million. So that way you could be more motivated to get to that 10 million. And even if you miss, if you come up halfway and make five, yeah, that's still way beyond, that's five times more than your original goal. So with dating apps, how this works is that instead of like, let's say that you download a regular dating app, Hinge, Tinder, something like that, and you just say, well, I just want to meet one girl and go on a few dates and get a girlfriend. The problem with that goal, even though it's like, it's admirable, and if that's really how you feel, it's just a little bit too small, and it's not going to help really motivate you to do what it's really going to take to actually get a girlfriend. So we all know the statistics about dating apps. 80% of the guys this, 20% of guys that, 80% of women this. But the reality is if you go on dating apps, for example, like um, dating apps are probably 70 or 80% men and 20 or 30% women, depending on the app. But if you were to change, so that's your homework for tonight. If you were to change your profile from, make it so that you can see the straight guys in your area. So change your settings to female and make it so that you can see the straight men in your area and just swipe left, swipe through for 30 or 50 profiles. You'll quickly see that like 70 or 80% of the guys that are on these apps aren't even trying. They just don't even have a chance, right? So it's not really, the odds are not really as bad as you think they are on paper. There might be 70% guys on these apps, but you got to take into account that 70 or 80% are 70 or 80 percent of those men never get a single match or they get like one match a month i mean they have bad pictures they're very out of shape they're very overweight they might be nice people but the way that the app is set up is really you just have a couple of seconds like a split second to get somebody's attention or they'll swipe left or maybe they'll kind of look and see your other pictures and swipe right or like later reject you so when you think of it like that, you actually have pretty good odds. But when you tell yourself, okay, I just want to get a girlfriend, you're, you're going to get mediocre effort or you're, you're going to give mediocre effort because you're, you're not really that motivated. You're like, okay, I'm just going to get on here and get a girlfriend. But what if you told yourself, what if you accepted the fact that it's going to take 10 times more effort, energy, time, swipes, uh, messages, dates, patience? It's going to take way longer for you to get that girlfriend or get whatever you want. You want a little friends with benefits, a little cut buddy, whatever. Tell yourself, accept the fact that it's going to take longer than you think. If not longer, it's going to be way more effort than you think. You're going to mess up with some girls. Like I made that, I made several videos about a situation that I kind of fumbled recently. You're going to mess, you're going to mess up. We're human. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to go on some dates that are awkward or bad. Some people are not going to look like their pictures. Some conversations are going to fizzle out. Some days you won't get any matches, then you'll lay low for a little bit. The next time you open the app, you'll have six or seven. It's just an ebb and a flow to it. So basically, the in short, the thing that has helped me the most recently on dating apps is just patience. Having an extreme amount of patience and an awareness and an acceptance. An acceptance of the fact that, hey, it's going to take some effort. Like, nobody told me that a woman was just going to, a beautiful woman is going to fall into my lap, knock on the door. And, uh, you know, ask, can she come inside and, and uh, you know, fawn all over me and, and smother me with kisses, right? That's probably not going to happen. But if I take the time and effort, you know, put up some pictures. Maybe the pictures work. Maybe they don't. Change, change a picture here or two. Change some stuff in your bio. And maybe just wait. Sometimes I'll swipe. I'll, like, swipe on some of the apps and, or I'll send a few messages if I have some matches. And I won't even look at it for, like, two or three days. I'll just kind of, like... For two days, just not even think about it. And it gives women time. First of all, it gives women time to pick up the app, swipe when they're at the grocery store, or swipe when they're you know waiting for their ramen noodles to get done at work. Because women are not as motivated to find like romance and sex as you are probably. Some of them are, most of them aren't. So you got to give her some time 
to percolate and develop and da 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 da. And even if I send a message, if she responds back, it actually works in your favor if you give her a day or two before you respond. It just like lets her feelings develop. I've kind of mentioned this in a previous video is that time is on your side. Time and patience is on your side in dealing with women. And I've learned a lot of this from Coach Corey Wayne. I'm rereading his uh, book. I'm going back over his videos and things like that. And he's right. I honestly find that when I take my time with women, instead of trying to rush and push them to do something, push them to meet up, push them to respond to my messages, push them to do whatever. When I just take my time and kind of like let it develop, and even and this is this is actually the mark of a true, of a, a true person who has conquered themselves, is when you can let the women come on to you. When you have women like double messaging you. So like I said, sometimes I'll put the I'll put the app down for two or three days, and I'll have a woman message me, and when I pick it up, I'll see that a woman messaged me, and because I didn't respond for two days, she might have messaged me again. Oh hey, you know, just checking on you still there? How was your day? So, and that's when you see her interest level coming up to where it kind of makes it easier. So when I finally message her back, she's like, oh, thank God. He messaged me back. She's happy, right? She's more like relieved and excited to see that message, kind of like a kid waiting for Christmas Day. You got to let anticipation be your friend. So I'm kind of trying to tie this back together is by saying basically it's going to take more work than you think. There's a lot of guys on dating apps. Uh, women have a lot going on in their lives. They have friends. They have family. They have this. They have that. They're not as eager to meet you off of a dating app as you are to meet them. So just give it some time. Put your best foot forward and understand that that's going to might take you. It might take you more effort. If you're a regular looking guy, probably everybody watching this fits into that category. Um, it's going to take more effort than just throwing some pictures up and hurry up and getting some matches. And then you have a girl sucking your dick 10 minutes after you download a Tinder. Maybe you might get lucky once or twice, mostly not. So yeah, just basically... Realizing that I'm going to have to put in more effort than I think it should take. I'm like, okay, well, why can't I just put up some pictures and swipe and send some messages and then just go on a date every single day of the week? Well, it takes more time than that. And I actually have been on a couple of dates and I have some set up. It just takes time to let it develop. Get some other shit to do, some other hobbies, work some overtime, uh, start working out. I mean, these are all things that everybody says, but if you're just staring there, sitting there staring at Bumble all day, waiting for matches to come in, it's like watching a, a pot of water boil. Get some other shit to do. Take time. Take your time with women. If she goes and gets bored and goes off somewhere, fine. I had a girl today or yesterday message me after a week. I had We had been texting sort of back and forth over a day or two. And I sent a message and she didn't respond for a whole week. And I was like, dang, I guess she just, what happened? I think the conversation was going well. Her ex came back in the picture she might have been on her period. Uh, she had a pregnancy scare. You never know. Everybody has a busy life. But she came back and sent me like paragraph, like three paragraphs, big long ass paragraphs of like a whole bunch of stuff that she was asking me about and things that she wanted to talk about. And basically my next message, I'm going to let her wait a few days because she had me waiting for weeks and weeks. I'm going to let her wait for a few days and then I'm just going to go and ask her out. And that, that'll be two dates set up just next week off of just chilling, right? Not even doing much, barely opening the app twice a week. So basically, long story short is do more work than you think you're not, you want to do. Be more patient than you think you want to be. And just give it some time. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.